Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Thursday night, October 5th, 9.28 p.m. Mountain Time. The Fuego Volcano in South Guatemala explodes in one of the largest recorded eruptions in the volcano's history. Folks, this is the ring of fire lighting up. It's still happening. The Fuego Volcano in South Guatemala burst into life Wednesday. Plumes of ash blew into the sky in what has been described as one of the largest recorded eruptions in the volcano's history. Now, this volcano has erupted many times in the past, dozens of times during the Maunder Minimum, again and again and again and again, again the Dalton Minimum, the Glassberg Minimum, erupted in the mid-1900s during the mid-1900 cooling into the 70s, and then started re-erupting again in the 2000s. Very similar to the sunspot cycle graph. It is currently listed as erupting and is getting a 4 out of 5 rating. <clears throat> this volcano came to life initially on July, second week of July of this year. And here we can see the initial eruptions for this 2017 series of eruptions, which have become record-breaking. And it's really interesting to watch this and to see all these idiots standing right next to a strato volcano, a stratocone. These are violent, dangerous volcanoes. And if they are erupting, you should never be on the edge of one. I guess if it did have a major eruption, these people would instantly disintegrate and they wouldn't feel a thing. But this is a stupid place to be when a volcano is erupting. Look at this gorgeous picture. And we can actually see the footage here of the eruption yesterday. Uh, while this is loading, let's talk about the other volcanoes. Mono Roy, Ambe Volcano in Vanuatu claims it's erupting currently. It's getting a 4 out of 5 rating. This is the island in Vanuatu. They completely evacuated all 15,000 residents. Uh, and that is a basaltic type of lava, not that dangerous as far as violent eruptions. Agung, however, is the, one of the most dangerous types of volcanoes on the planet. And the situation currently is unchanged. There has been no eruption after this eruption threat at the end of September. And now there are 145,000 people evacuated within a 7-kilometer range of this particular volcano. And so it's a hard call to say people go back home because if they do, they could be putting over 100,000 people in harm's way there. So that's the update on Agung. I'll leave you links to Vulcan. The Big Wobble is a blog by one of our uh, local subscribers. So I just wanted to share her blog. There'll be a link to this. This is not going to load for us. So when you get to this link, check out the video. This volcano, the, the volcano of fire, is pretty damn awesome. <laughs>